Welcome to Electron Line. And now for something a little bit more challenging. Now the reason why so many integrals are challenging is because you can usually only do them if you know the trick. So the challenge really equates to do you know the trick or not? So here we have an integral that says the integral of dx divided by a squared plus x squared. So the question is how do you integrate that? Well, if you don't know the trick, it may take you a while. But let's think about a trick substitution. If we have a triangle here, and we call the opposite uh, side to the angle x and the adjacent side a, then the definition of the tangent of the angle is going to be equal to the ratio of the opposite side over the adjacent side. So we can write x is equal to a times the tangent of theta, and then we're going to substitute that in here for x. So then we get the following. This becomes equal to the integral of dx in the numerator divided by a squared plus and so x squared is now going to be a squared times the tangent of theta. All right, now we have theta in the denominator but an x in the numerator so we have to also convert dx to something in terms of theta which means we're going to have to find the derivative of this and so we can say that dx d theta is equal to a times the derivative of the tangent of theta and that would be equal to the secant square of theta. If you're not quite sure that why that is so, you can simply say that the tangent of theta is equal to the sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta and then use the quotient rule and you'll end up with the secant square of theta. So that means that dx is equal to a times the secant square of theta and then we move d theta over here notice the numerator then becomes equal to this we can replace that in here and in the denominator we can actually factor out an a square so this becomes equal to we're going to get an a divided by a square when we factor out the a square here times the integral and remaining we have the secant square of theta d theta in the denominator and in the uh, numerator and in the denominator we'll have 1 plus d oh and I forgot to square it in that because I'm squaring this so 1 plus the tangent square of theta now 1 plus the tangent square of theta is actually equal to the secant square of theta so this becomes equal to and we can simplify this as being 1 over a times the integral of we get the secant square of theta in the, in the numerator and the secant square of theta in the denominator times d theta and notice all of a sudden it becomes a really easy integral that of course becomes 1 and this is equal to 1 over a times the integral of d theta which means that this is equal to 1 over a times theta plus a constant of integration now all we have to do is turn theta back into something in terms of x so now we go back over here and we realize that x equals a tan theta or a over here we can say that the tangent of theta is equal to x over a which means that theta is equal to the inverse tangent of the ratio of x over a and so we can then replace this by that which means that the integral then becomes 1 over a times the inverse tangent of x over a and of course we still have our constant of integration so again if you know the trick they typically aren't that difficult and that's how it's done